Today we're doing Lesson 37 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 37. My Holiness Blesses the World. My Holiness Blesses the World. This idea contains the first glimmerings of your true function in the world, or why you are here. Your purpose is to see the world through your own holiness. Thus are you and the world blessed together. No one loses. Nothing is taken away from anyone. Everyone gains through your holy vision. It signifies the end of sacrifice because it offers everyone his full due. And he is entitled to everything because it is his birthright as a son of God. There is no other way in which the idea of sacrifice can be removed from the world's thinking. Any other way of seeing will inevitably demand payment of someone or something. As a result, the perceiver will lose. Nor will he have any idea why he is losing. Yet is his wholeness restored to his awareness through your vision. Your holiness blesses him by asking nothing of him. Those who see themselves as whole make no demands. Your holiness is the salvation of the world. It lets you teach the world that it is one with you, not by preaching to it, not by telling it anything, but merely by your quiet recognition that in your holiness are all things blessed along with you. Today's four longer periods, each to involve three to five minutes of practice, begin with the repetition of the idea for today, followed by a minute or so of looking about you as you apply the idea to whatever you see. My holiness blesses this chair. My holiness blesses this window. My holiness blesses this body. Then close your eyes and apply the idea to any person who occurs to you using his name and saying, my holiness blesses you, fill in the blank. You may continue the practice period with your eyes closed. You may open your eyes again and apply the idea for today to your outer world if you so desire. You may alternate between applying the idea to what you see around you and to those who are in your thoughts. Or you may use any combination of these two phases of application that you prefer. The practice period should conclude with a repetition of the idea with your eyes closed and another following immediately with your eyes open. The shorter exercises consist of repeating the idea as often as you can. It is particularly helpful to apply it silently to anyone you meet using his name as you do so. It is essential to use the idea if anyone seems to cause an adverse reaction in you. Offer him the blessing of your holiness immediately, that you may learn to keep it in your own awareness. That's Lesson 37. My holiness blesses the world. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook lessons this year, just go to amytorresacent.com.